Okay, hello class. So in this video, I'm going to um, show you an error uh, involving the spider IDE that you may have encountered already. Okay, so here in Anaconda, if you look at this, um, if your spider IDE has a version that says something like 5.1.5 or 5.1. something, then uh, chances are you're going to run into this issue. Okay, so let me launch it and um, I'll show you the example what that means. It, it basically has to do with the input function and it's a bug that has been you know introduced to version 5.1. Didn't have this issue before, but um, now they do have it. So I'm gonna um, fix that for you. Okay, so here is, is a, um, okay, it, it prompts you for a version 5.3.3 is available now. And this is kind of, I want you to do, but for now let's turn this on call off for now. Okay, so when, when version is 5.1.5, you can know by going to the help and click on the about spider, it will tell you the version 5.1.5 year, okay? So now if you try to run a code that looks something like this, I say age is equal to input something, every time when you run the input function, it's gonna crash, okay? So save that, run, and you're gonna get this error, okay? This uh, internal uh, problem here. So there are a few ways to fix this. And I'll show you the easier way out first, right? So if you don't fix it, you're not going to be able to do any input in your program. Okay, so the easiest way is to go to the spider uh, program. Um, if you go to like over here and search for spider IDE and just go to the website over here, okay? And just download the latest version of spider. I believe is version 5.3.3, okay? So for your Windows, if you're on a Mac, I believe we should detect your Mac as well uh, for the Mac version. So once you download it, install it, and what you're gonna end up having is a, um, a program that is outside of your, your environment. So let me show you here. So your C drive. So for now, if you open your C drive, and if you go to the program files, you're not gonna see Anaconda, right? And the reason why is because Anaconda is not installed in the program files, okay? It's installed in the folder called program data. You, if you don't see this folder because it's hidden, you can kind of see like on the right side here is a little bit faded because under the view, right? I had this uh, hidden items checked. If you uncheck that, all the invisible files will be uh, gone. You can't see it. They are, they are just invisible. So if you go to view again, turn on the hidden items, and you will see a few of them, including some of these here. And then the program data, if you click on that folder, you'll see Anaconda right here. Okay, so Anaconda is installed in this directory and all the, all the other programs are installed within this Anaconda program okay, or linked to somewhere else from within the Anaconda program. Okay, so once you install the, the spider separately, then you should see, go back to your C drive under program files. You will see, if you scroll down, the spider, um, IDE here. Okay, so that means it's a separate program running outside of the Anaconda environment. Okay, and it, it has to do with something with, something with Python. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna go to that, but you have that one there, okay? So now to run it, you would then go into your program and run and search for it or just type spider. And you're gonna see a couple of versions here, okay? So the one is a spider with the parentheses Anaconda 3, you don't want to run this one here because this is the one I just showed you over here. This is under the Anaconda environment. You don't want that. So you want the one that just says spider. So which is this one right here. These are something else I'll show you in a minute. This is just the installer. So you can basically remove that from your download folder. If you click on the spider here, it's gonna launch um, the correct version, which is the version 5.3.3 on, on your machine. And, uh, and, you know, is it launching? I don't know if it's launching or not. Let me close this. And I want to try again. <clears throat> so spider, uh, the app. Okay, it's gonna launch at, uh, outside of the Anaconda environment. So it's a separate version um, as opposed to the version 5.1.5 still installed inside the Anaconda environment. Okay, so now, um, as you can see, it loads the same file I said earlier, but this time it's a version 5.3.3. Again, how do we know? You can go to help and look under about the spider. It will show you that I'm now running 5.3.3, okay? So if you run this version, 
then you should be good if you run this file now. It's going to ask you to prompt your age right here in the terminal, and then that's how it should work. Okay, so now let's go back. And so that's the, the easier way, all right? So the other approach, if you want to um, do, I mean, you can if you want to, you're still going to end up having a, another installation anyway, but here's what you need to do. Okay, so you need to go to the Anaconda again. Now, if you look at the drop down here, you're going to see one that says base with the parentheses root. If you click the drop down, you see a few of them. Okay, so we're going to add another environment here so we can load a different version of the spider. Now, you you can you can do um, you know update the application or even even uh, go and install the version here yourself. I tried that; it took me like about an hour and it still didn't work for my system. So if that works for you, fine, you can do then update environment, update to a new version. Uh, if it doesn't work, then uh, it just doesn't, okay, for whatever reason. So I'm gonna show you a different way. And that's by going to the command terminal here using the CMDXE prompt here, click launch this terminal. And this is the Anaconda prompt, okay? You will see something like this, what are my username and then the word base in front of it. Okay, this is the same as going to uh, Anaconda and you will see Anaconda prompt, right? In the, in the um, search box here. If I do that, it's open another one. It's gonna show you what they look like. So it can, it's kind of the same thing, okay? So you can access this directly through an through Anaconda program or the Anaconda prompt search. So I'll keep this, this one here. So here is what you need to enter. And I'll give you a site uh, so you can go there uh, I also put this in the link. So this is the site that you need to go to. Okay, it's called um, so GitHub Spider I issue one eight nine four seven. Okay, I'll give you the link to get there, and you need to copy this statement here. It's a long one. Just copy that the whole thing, and uh, copy it, and then go back to the terminal, and paste it right in here. In, in right in here. Okay, uh, do take it. I guess it didn't take a strike again. I'm gonna copy, control C, and then paste it. Now it's gonna run that for you. Okay, so what this will do is it's going to create another environment instead of base. In this example, it's gonna call spider CF. I think the CF stands for configuration or something. Uh, you can name something else if you want to. You can name it like, you know, my spider or my base or something, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it as is. I might run into this issue here. It says, you know, um, this one fails. It's gonna to try to do a diff repo, right? Repository and just wait and uh, be a little bit patient with this one, okay? It might take you a while um, to do that, but I'm gonna pause my screen and it will come back when it's done, hopefully when it's done and I will, will proceed. And here, just a halfway through that you collect, was able to collect some uh, data from the news source and now it's gonna do some installation. So again, I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back and after it's done. Okay, so here's the next thing. I mean, let me scroll up just a little bit. You can see, so it uh, it's gonna install and download a lot of these libraries. Okay, so it's a long list. But at the end, at the very bottom of the screen, it asks you. Oh, I lost it. Where to go? Let me find it. Ask you, should I proceed? And just say yes. Right. So just say yes. Hit enter and wait. And again, I'm gonna pause it. It might take a while to um, do the processing for us. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Now at the very last screen here, it's gonna ask you or prompt to ask you if you want to allow uh, the program to make some changes to your program, just say yes. It's about the Python uh, file, so just say yes. Okay, so the entire time, it took about almost um, seven or eight minutes just to do that. You can see how uh, slow this process could be, but um, I guess it's about the same time if you download Anaconda and install it. I mean, uh, Spider install it, it would be probably the same. Okay, so once this is all done, assuming I think it's good, it tells you to run it, you would then just type this command and it will launch Spider. okay? This is if you wanna do from the command tone like, like, like you see here. Now to do this, you will have to be in the base like you see here in order to run this command, okay? So, I mean, you don't have to do this unless you're already very comfortable and familiar with these um, uh, console here, okay? So if, if it's not, you can just basically exit now and then close it. And now this is done. So again, the same instruction. You go back to Anaconda. And if you check on the drop down here, you're gonna see a new 
uh, environment called Spider CF, okay? And this one here is the one that we just created. So if you click on that, it's gonna relaunch or re, um, re update your uh, IDE here. And you're gonna see a new version of Spider up here now, version 5.3.2. I'm surprised they didn't load 0.3, but 0.2 would be fine. And up here it says Spider CF now, okay? As opposed to the, uh, the root user earlier. So now if you run, if you launch this version, so this is the same as saying, you know, the command I showed you earlier, if you go and, um, you know, issue this command, right? It's conda sp activate this spider CF environment. It's the same thing. But except you're doing within the Anaconda environment. All right, so here we go. Again, you can ignore this message here and the same file as what before as was before running. And again, if you check the help, about Spider, it's gonna show you, show you the version 5.3.2 now as opposed to 5.1.5. Okay, and then now if you run and it should be working just like before, okay? And so just make sure you run a new version of the Spider IDE in order for this to work uh, until uh, you know they fixed it or something. But for now, we should be good to go with 5.3.x. So again, just make sure you are using the version uh, 5.3.2, if you launch it next time, if it's not here again, go to the drop down and select the Spider CF or whatever name you give it or you call. Okay, so if you have any questions again, please let me know. Thank you.